Let me show you how uh, you can use uh, these latches, uh, like right here, in order to accommodate overlay doors and inset doors. Cabinet shops like to use it. I used it. I did a... Uh, <laughs> my son built this really nice, uh, fancy chicken coop. Uh, it's a really pretty one. And we used a latch like that on the chicken coop. Uh, can be used in uh, face frame cabinets, uh, like the one right here that, that we're picturing, or a box style cabinet. Here's a face frame with an inset, uh, this particular one. And then the one over here is a box style cabinet with an overlay door. Uh, so uh, the applications are pretty broad. Let's look at uh, how this product is used, for example, on a face frame cabinet with an inset door. Inset on a face frame. In this application, we're looking at a door that's hinged on the right-hand side, and so our strike and our latch are on the left side. So we're going to look, uh, first of all, at the latch, which is right here. In order to make the latch function properly in a face frame cabinet, it works best to block out behind the face frame. So that's what you see right here, uh, is a block of wood that's uh, a machine so it fits perfectly behind the face frame. Uh, by measuring back an inch and five-eighths from there, that's the center of uh, the line of holes to mount this latch to the inside of a face frame cabinet. The same latch works with the overlay door. You'll use the, the same latch whether it's going to be for inset or overlay. We're using it in this case on an inset door. Now let's look at applying the strike to the door. Just one little thing about uh, applying the strike to the door is that uh, the door, uh, the edge of the door needs to be machined so that the strike sits flush with the edge of the door. There's the machining for the strike. Pre-drilled the holes uh, for, the, for the strike and these are on the inside of the door. And so this strike uh, mounts into there. And we simply put that in. Now with the uh, strike attached to the door and the latch uh, attached to the face frame cabinet we will reassemble the door uh, clip our bloom hinges in to their mounting plates and uh, watch now as the door shuts and the latch uh, engages with the strap. <laughs> Isn't that good? That really works nice. And now um, you want to make sure nobody gets into there because you got some valuables in there you simply put on your padlock and lock her up. That's all there is to it. Face frame cabinet, um, inset door with latch and a strike. In this case we are not working with a face frame cabinet and we're working with a box style cabinet. The other thing that's different is when we did the face frame cabinet we were doing an inset door. Uh, now we're doing an over overlay door. Uh, we use the same style of strike uh, mounted on the um, inside of the cabinet. It's an inch and five eighths from the jaw of this strike to the center of this screw hole. Now it's a matter of uh, putting the strike on the door. Our strike. Uh, the door needs to be machined in order for this overlay application to work. And let's take a look at the machining on the door. So here's the, uh, the machining that needs to be done to make this work on an overlay door. And there's your pre-drilled holes uh, that go on this uh, strike. How you, how you determine the machining on the door is to put the strike over the edge of the door and you draw around here and um, that tells you where you need to machine in order to make this work. Once this area is machined and these holes are pre-drilled then we uh, slide our strike on and put in the screws. The door is attached to the cabinet. On our box style cabinet we simply shut the door um, and then uh, put in our lock 
and now we have uh, a secure cabinet. You should get you some of these. And uh, we even sell these real cool padlocks. You can get you some of those too.